Welcome to the final installment of Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. Well, it's finally here. Rivalry 150, Lafayette and Lehigh are going to meet at Yankee Stadium this weekend. We talk about this game. We try to dissect it in a ton of different ways. Which team's coming in hard? Which team's coming in soft? Uh, that type of thing. You've got to throw those things out the window. Really what you have to find is those little swing patterns. And I find those swing patterns in these two teams that are very similar uh, in what I call the keys to victory in special teams, number one. Special teams has been a huge uh, thing in this game going back and forth for four or five years. Lehigh has blocked two consecutive years, has blocked punts. Lafayette has had great kickoff returns. Lafayette comes in this year leading the league in not only kickoff returns, but leading in punt returns as well. So if you look at punt first, Lehigh's going to put a lot of pressure on the upfront guys that are going to have to block. They're going to bring guys inside. They're going to twist guys. Remember, our long snapper, Schiffert, is a freshman. Lafayette has relied on 14 freshmen this year that have all played. So these red and black calls, whether he's stepping left or stepping right, is going to come in huge. When they did block one punt, they stacked the guy, and they brought him from the second level. Last year, they brought extra guys off the corner to block a punt. So Lafayette's punt team is going to have to work hard this week to come in to play hard. Now, if we talk about kickoff, we go to the kickoff game. Lafayette's kickoff return team has been excellent. Talk to Ross Sherman today. He and Matt Smalley are going to be returning kickoffs. Up front guys, got to make sure they get the proper blocks as guys come down to get the double teams to allow guys to get upfield vertically. Nobody does it better than Matt Smalley and Ross Sherman. Remember, Ross' first kickoff return this year against Sacred Heart went all the way for the touchdown, and Matt Smalley had two last year. Remember, Lafayette leads the league in kickoff returns. If you want to talk about the punt game from the return side, well, nobody does it better than Jared Roberts. So up front, these guys got to get in, do their little hold-up things, give a guy like uh, Jared Roberts time to catch the football back here and get up the sideline inside or out. If you give him some room and you allow him to run the football, remember the kicker for Lehigh has had 37 punts this year. Only five of them have been returned the entire year. So special teams is going to be huge. Whoever plays better creates some momentum. That brings me to my second point. How do you handle the momentum shifts in this game? Well, Lafayette has had big leads last year and the year before only to lose that and then obviously win last year coming back winning 50 to 28. But how do you handle the momentum shifts? How do 14 freshmen on the Lafayette team that have contributed, okay, guys like Morozik, Phil Parham, obviously uh, Sirfoss, he's going to be a freshman playing in this game. He's a sophomore, but the first time he's ever played. How do they handle the momentum shifts? Throwing an interception, possibly fumbling a football, having bad field position, maybe a block kick. Those are huge things, and in this game, it's a roller coaster ride up and down. You go back and you look, a lot of times the team score on two consecutive possessions. How does your defense handle that? So those momentum shifts are huge. Anybody like myself who has played in this game, coached in this game, and now broadcast this game, you can see it, you can feel it. How do the teams handle that? Lastly, finish strong. Last year, Lafayette finished strong. They not only intercepted a pass by Matt Smalley, they created a fumble. And they got that ball, and James Kasha ran it back for a touchdown. So they finished strong. The year before, Lehigh finished strong. This game is a toss-up. You can really throw everything away. It's who wants it more and who's going to make less mistakes. So we've talked a lot about these three things. Special teams, I think, is huge. Handling momentum shifts and finishing strong. It's going to be fantastic. Gary and I will be there for the pregame for a full two hours on the big screen at Yankee Stadium. Be there with us.